Hello there and welcome. In this video we're going to be looking at the Wave Tank project. So we're going to begin by loading up our macro. So we're going to be using the designsphysics.py macro and we're just going to check our setup plugins once that's loaded. There is a short video on how to do this if you are unsure. Okay, so we're ready to begin our new case. So we're going to click on new case on the right hand side there and we're going to begin by defining our case limits. So first we're going to position our domain. We're going to have an x value of minus 500 millimeters and a y and z value of zero. We're going to have a length of 6500 millimeters, a width of 370 millimeters, sorry my mistake, and a height of 700 millimeters. We're just going to position that view by clicking the button in the top left there. So now we're going to import our STL. So we're going to be going to the material folder that you can download from the Designs Physics website, and we're going to be using the case wave tank structure. We're going to name this structure and we're going to scale this by a thousand in X, Y, and Z, like so. And we're going to click import. So we're going to position our structure and we're going to position this at an X value of 3000 millimeters. And we're all good to go. Now we're going to add some other geometry to this. So we're going to insert a cube by clicking the cube up at the top there. And we're going to name this as our bottom. So this is going to create a base to our domain. So we're going to position this at an X of minus 500 millimeters with a Y and Z of zero, a length of three uh, sorry, 6,500 millimeters, a width of 370 millimeters, and our height is going to be one millimeter. So next, we're going to have another cube. This is going to be called our piston. We're going to position this at an x value of minus three minus 30 millimeters. We're going to have a length of 30 millimeters, a width of 370 millimeters, and a height of 550 millimeters. And we're going to add a fill box on the right hand side there. So there's two parts to our fill box. We're going to name it water. We've got the fill limit. So we're going to position this with at 0, 0, 0. We're going to give it a length of 6,000 millimeters, a width of 370 millimeters, and a height of 310 millimeters. And we're going to there, going to position our fill point. So this is the seed for our fill. This is where all the fill comes from. So we're going to have an x value of 3,000 millimeters here, a y value of 200 millimeters and a z value of 100 millimeters and we're going to add a radius of 100 just here and you can see that so now ready to add these parts to our simulation so we're going to add the structure bound and mk bound zero we're going to add the bottom everything here remains the same we're going to add our water fluid, MK fluid zero, everything there is good. And we're going to add our piston. Everything is good here, except we're going to define our motion. So we're going to configure the motion. We're going to set motion to true. And we're going to click on the black arrow on the right hand side. And we're going to lin add, load a linear motion from a file. So we're just going to browse for our file here. It's inside the material folder again. So you can see we have the case wave tank movement file here. So we're going to open that. Number of fields is going to be 3, column with time 0. The X position column is going to be 1 and the duration is going to be 25 seconds. Okay. 25 seconds, there we go. Okay. 
Click OK there. So now we need to sort out our object order. So on the right hand side here, you can see our current order. We need to change this so that our piston is second. So we have structure, then piston, then bottom, and then the water. We're going to check our constants and we're going to change the coefficient of h to 1.5. OK. Our execution parameters, our step algorithm is going to be symplectic. Our viscosity value is going to be 0.02. And the time of our simulation is going to be 6 seconds with a timeout data of 0.02. Okay, interparticle distance is going to stay at 0.01. Now we need to change our case to 2D. So we're going to set our Y position at 200 millimeters. Click OK then. And now we're going to save and run our gen case. Um, so we're going to save this as wave tank. I'll just save that to our desktop. And now we'll save and run gen case. So we're going to check this in power view. It's a good habit to get into because you can make sure that everything's seeded correctly. Um, so if we review this in Y plus, we'll just make that come back. You can see that everything is as we would hope it would be. Fantastic. So we go back into FreeCAD, we're ready to run our simulation. Um, we have the option of doing this by using CPU or GPU. If you have the hardware to use GPU, that is recommended, um, otherwise the CPU is fine, it's just a little bit slower. So we'll just let this run through here, um, we'll just speed it up a little bit. So as this is running through, you can see the log on the left and you can see the output files on the right hand side. Okay, and now we're ready to process this. So we're going to go to part VTK on the right hand side. We're going to export our fluid part, so we'll call this our fluid part just here. Click export. Okay, and we're going to export our moving part. Just there, so we'll call this moving part and export that. Uh, sorry, piston part, and we'll export that. Now we'll go into power view to visualize all of this. So if we just open up power view, we'll get rid of our pre check, and we're going to go into the wave tank out file where we will see our fluid and piston parts. So if we open up those, click apply on the left hand side. Orientate in Y plus. Uh, we'll just bring that back. Be a bit funny sometimes. Need to do this to the fluid part as well as the piston part. You can see our wave generation there. So if we orientate this and view this with colored by velocity, sorry. You can see the generation of our waves nice and clearly. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any further questions, please refer to the Jules Physics Forum or contact us at julesphysics at gmail.com.